Hey everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Sarah and today we are diving into the world of pendulums. A pendulum typically looks like this and it is an object that hangs from a fixed point by a string or a chain and swings freely from the force of gravity. Pendulums are used for dowsing. Dowsing means to search or to discover, and it has been used for centuries. Pendulums can be made with crystals, wood, glass, and metals. When you're picking your pendulum, if you're using it just for yourself, you can pick whatever you want. I like to use crystals because I love crystals. This is mine. It's a really pretty rainbow moonstone. I also have a copper pendulum that I use when I'm working on other people because crystals pick up energy from outside forces. So if I'm working on someone else, I really just like to know that nothing is interfering. When you get your pendulum, it'll typically come with a little baggie to carry it in. If you don't have one, you can probably just buy one online. It's best to get one with like a natural fiber because it's just not affecting the energies. You can throw this in your pocket and carry it with you everywhere you go. The longer you have contact with it, the more it picks up to your energy field and tunes to that. So first things first, once you pick your pendulum, if you've picked a crystal, you really want to give it a nice good cleanse because crystals pick up energy from everything. So you can cleanse it like you would cleanse any of your crystals with some sage, running it under water, leaving it out in the sun or moonlight for a couple of hours, or even giving it a nice little salt bath. So once we've cleansed our pendulum, we can start to program it. So we program our pendulum by saying, show me my yes, show me my no, and show me my no, which means maybe. You can either say this out loud or you can say it in your head. When you're starting off, it's probably better to say it out loud. This is all about intent, so if your mind starts to wander when you're doing this and you're not holding the intent in your mind, it won't work with you. So make sure you hold your intent in your mind. Some people like to hold it from the top. I like to hold it like halfway down. I just have this string in my hand like that. And I'm gonna get it nice and try to get it nice and steady. And then I'm gonna say, show me my yes. So it might start off really subtly I've been using a pendulum for a little bit, so mine's already going. My yes is a counterclockwise circle. Then I'm gonna switch to so show me my no. My no is a horizontal line back and forth. And then I'm gonna go show me my no. Show me my no. And my no is just a forward and backward little motion. You can then test it out and say, is my name Alex? No. Is my name Sarah? So once you've programmed your pendulum and you know what your yes, no, and maybe is, you can use any pendulum and it's going to be the exact same. Show me my no. Cool, huh? If you are getting null or a maybe as a response, it typically just means that you need to rephrase the question. Sometimes you're not being clear enough. Maybe you're not holding your intent in your mind as you're doing so. Okay, so Sarah, now what can we use these for? Everything. You can use these for everything. Okay, so first thing that you can use your pendulum for, the first thing that I use it for the most is asking it yes or no questions. When you're asking your pendulum questions, it is just giving you answers from your higher self. So it's not always gonna give you what you wanna hear, but it's kind of your subconscious mind that is answering the question. So what kind of questions can we ask it? Is this relationship with blank serving me? Is being friends with this person within my highest interest? Is taking this program within my highest interest? Is going to school within my highest interest? is starting yoga within my highest interest. You know what I'm saying? You can really ask it anything. Okay, so my favorite thing to do with this thing. So you can hold this thing over anything, alcohol, food, drugs, items of clothing, and it'll give you a yes or no answer. So when I first got this, I just went around my kitchen and one of the first things that I put it over was alcohol and I got a big fat no, of course. Putting it over kombucha though was a completely different story. So take this thing out with you, put it over your food, it senses the energy and the vibration of your food, and it moves around and tells you whether it's in your highest interest to ingest. So the third way to use your pendulum is to make a chart. You can use this when you have a couple of different options that you're trying to decide between. You can make your own charts. Some pendulum books have charts already in them. I find them kind of hard to use because you know, a book isn't flat, so. 
You can make your own, it's really easy. I'll pop one in right here. You just have a flat line and kind of a dome shape over top with different sections and each section you have an option. You can use this for trying to decide on what kind of crystals you should buy or use for yourself. What movie should I go see? Where should I travel to from these places? And so on and so on. If you're an energy worker, an energy healer, or you are curious about your chakras and other people's chakras, you can use these to show you the diameter on your chakras. You can actually do this on any of your chakras. So I'll show you on my hand. Um, you actually have chakra points in all of your fingers. So the closer that you are to the chakra point, because your chakra comes out like a paper rolled up cone, it starts off really small and it kind of tunnels out and gets bigger. So I'm just gonna put it on the point of my finger. Show me the diameter and spin of this chakra. Can't really see it's starting to go. The closer that I get to it, the smaller it gets. Isn't that cool? I just find it so fascinating. This is a great tool for when you're learning to sense and see auras. That's actually the main reason why I got it. And then I realized that that has so many other uses for it. So I can ask it like, is my aura yellow? Yes. Is Stern's aura purple? No. And those are all of my favorite ways to use my pendulum. If you have a pendulum and you have any cool experiences with them, or if you're new to pendulums and you have any questions about them, leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences and your questions. And if you're new to my channel and you feel called to subscribe, please do so. I make videos every week. So hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.